Okay, so previously I made a nighttime routine video when my son was about one month old. He is four months old now, so I thought it's a good idea for me to record an updated version of that night routine, put it side by side the previous night routine video that I did, watch it and give you my thoughts because there are a few changes here. So let's watch the video. Now I'm just going to pause here quickly and point out that we have actually changed his milk bottle to an anti-colic one because he had colic issues previously and after changing to this anti-colic bottle, he is definitely less gassy now, which is a good thing. Also, I was using the football hole to actually fit him but nowadays, I just put him down onto the bed on a slight incline for his feet because he no longer likes being held when we are feeding him. Okay, so this is the part of the video where you can actually see a big difference here. When he reaches 4 months old, he is a lot more sociable, he interacts with you and he can actually speak or reply to you when you try to talk to him. So that's what we tend to do before bedtime. Whereas in the first month video, you will notice as I play the video through, all I try to do is to try and put him back to bed because he can be quite fussy during that month. Now only noticing this now, but he actually looks a lot smaller last time compared to now. He has definitely grown a lot because when he was born, he's just about 3.1 kilograms. And when we last measured him for the fourth month checkup, he was about 7 kilos. Okay, so I'm just going to pause here for this particular frame because I want to point out the timing. During the first month, we had no routine at all, so we just did everything based on demand. But starting from the third month, we actually tried to implement some type of bedtime routine and we tend to actually fix it about 8.30 to about 9.30pm depending on how tired he actually is. Let me just change the uh, frame so that both of these timings are pretty clear because I want to point out something. Okay, I think that's about as best as I can get it. So even though he has slept at two very different timings, one at about 12 plus and the other at 9 plus, he still woke up at the same timing. This means that for the fourth month, he has actually increased his bedtime quite significantly and that's a really good thing. This is another of the uh, big changes that I have noticed. Okay, so in the first month video, you will hear me doing a lot of the shh type of sound because it still worked to try to get him to sleep during the first month, but it no longer works when he's at 4 months old. So if you do hear me doing it in the 4 month video, it's likely just a habit that I haven't kicked up yet. I also like to point out that we still have to feed him at night at least once because he tends to wake up since he sleeps pretty early. But the interesting thing here is he actually goes back to sleep quite fast after the night feed which you will see when I look at the timing later on. Okay, so I'm not sure whether you actually caught this but the difference between the first month and the four months is huge. So even though he woke up at about 3.30 or 3.20 for both of these videos, the time it took for him to go back to bed for the fourth month is just six minutes and that's a lot of difference. This is compared to the first month video where he actually fell asleep after about 40 minutes. So incredible improvements there. This actually gives me a lot of free time and I can actually use the time to either go to sleep or I can spend the time to check out with the audiences that are currently watching this video whether you are actually enjoying this content because if you are, do consider leaving a like and subscribe for more contents like this. You may also have noticed that I haven't changed his diaper for the 4th month video and that's because I find that I don't really need to change diapers that often. Now during the first month, I kept changing diapers because I was a new parent so I thought that I have to keep it clean as much as I can. But what I didn't realize is a lot of those diapers that I am changing, they are not even fully soaked yet 
and I am just throwing away diapers that can still be used. So nowadays I tend to skip at least one diaper change at night because the current diaper is still relatively dry and he is still pretty comfortable so I tend to not do that anymore. About two hours later, he woke up for another night feed, but he doesn't do this a lot nowadays. Sometimes he will sleep through all the way to the morning and I can actually skip the second night feed. But in this particular case, when I was recording the video, he actually woke up, so I just proceeded with the night feed. So this is where I just started changing the diaper for the fourth month video so I didn't forget about that. Now I cut both videos at about 6am because for the first month somebody else was going to take over and for the fourth month video he fell asleep at about 6.02am which you see on the screen and he's just going to continue sleeping all the way until morning so I don't really need to record that anymore since it's more of a morning routine than a night routine and so after four months of doing night routine it definitely gets easier over time but I also need to stress and I mean it that the video clips that you see here are one of the more successful attempts that I've done I feel that a lot of sleep through the night videos or even sleep training videos for that matter they tend to not address certain important points and those points are whether it is actually sustainable and repeatable. And in my own experience and in my own opinion, it is definitely not the case. Because even though I showed you this video that seems like my son can definitely sleep through the night, it is definitely not going to happen all the time. Even though he sleeps through the night most of the time, there's just going to be one of those days that no matter what you do, nothing works. So do take that in mind when you watch videos like this. Okay, so that's the end of this video. If you found it useful or interesting, do consider leaving a like and subscribe for more contents like this. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it down in the comments section below and I'll answer them as best as I can. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.